Now, Country File isn't really the kind of programme that features up-and-coming rock bands, but today we're making an exception, because a group called British Sea Power get their inspiration from our coast and countryside. And we caught up with them on Canvey Island in Essex, the scene of terrible flooding back in 1953, and the subject of one of their latest songs. We are British Sea Power. Band inspired by the countryside. Yeah. And they describe us as oddball, eccentric English indie rockers. The funny thing is, me and Abby were lying in bed about a month ago watching Country File, watching the video diary and thinking, hey, we could do one of them. <laughs> and here we are today, dreams come true. Uh, the song Canvey Island uh, starts off with bird flu. Goes through the 1953 floods here, the loss of the football team records from the local club, and ends up wondering what's going to happen with the funny weather we've been having recently. Each five and one killed a wild swan. You was a kind of woman. I can't believe it's happening That it's happening now Can't believe it's happening It's coming true somehow Like Canvey Island 1953 Many lives were lost with the records of a football team We used to decorate our stage with bits of leaves and ivy and stuff And you should have seen the excitement on their faces They even used to try and steal bits and take them home at the end of the gig So we're hoping that might lead them on to actually coming out and seeing some real growing trees Don't you think it's strange, you know Brace yourself for storms and summer drought. Oh. I suppose there's some people who might think countryside, going looking for birds and that, going for a walk through a nice place is, is the opposite of being in a band and uh, playing guitars and everything. So we enjoy both of them things. We think the countryside is in fact rock music. To us, rock music's anything which is a life-enhancing experience that makes you feel maybe better or calmer. Uh, anything beautiful, really. It's hard to tell If it's going well When the odds against it were so phenomenal friend who I uh, went to university with and she didn't like mud or grass. She she only walked on pavement. I felt sad for her. But then we'll 